Let Garmin show you how to set up and pair your Garmin onboard engine cutoff system. Garmin recommends using a professional installer. For more help installing the Garmin onboard system, please follow the link in our installation manual below. For this process, you will need the Garmin onboard engine cutoff system installed on your boat engine or engines, MOB tags, and a compatible chart plotter to control the onboard system. For the best results, users should wear the MOB tag in a location that would likely be submerged during a man overboard event. For example, wearing the tag on the wrist, belt, or lower part of the life jacket. Wearing the tag on a shoulder may not activate the system. First, power on the chart plotter. Next, select the home button. Then, select settings, communications, NEMA 2000 setup, and then device list. Locate and select the Garmin GOS 10 hub. Then select review. Onboard MOB system and then MOB tags. Here you will see the MOB tags connected to the GOS 10 hub. The captain tag is connected at the factory and should display on the list as an active MOB status. Power on the MOB tag by holding the button on the side until you hear two beeps and two lights emit from the unit. The captain tag will then connect to the GOS 10 hub. Select new connection on the chart plotter to add or reconnect additional tags to the GOS 10 hub. Press the button on the hub three times rapidly to enter pairing mode. A blue light will display on the GOS 10 hub, letting you know the hub is in pairing mode. Press the button on the MOB tag three times rapidly to enter pairing mode. A blue light will display on the MOB tag shield icon, letting you know the MOB tag is in pairing mode. The MOB tag has successfully paired to the hub when the shield light flashes green. A message on the chart plotter will show a new tag has been connected. You can continue to add more tags if needed. The Garmin onboard engine cutoff system can connect a maximum of eight total tags. You can configure each tag's role, rename, review, turn off, or protect. The role option will allow you to assign a tag to either the captain or a passenger. You can only have one MOB tag assigned to a captain at a time. A captain tag is intended for a tag worn by the vessel captain or individual who is responsible for controlling the vessel. A man overboard action on a chart plotter is activated and the engines will cut off when an MOB tag is triggered with a captain role. At least one MOB tag must be assigned to the captain role for the engine cutoff system to function properly. The passenger role is intended for a tag worn by a passenger on the vessel. The passenger will include an alert and a prompt to the chart plotter when a MOB tag action is triggered. You can also name each MOB tag to your liking. Select the MOB tag you want to rename. Select Rename. Enter the new name. Continue to rename each MOB tag if desired. The review option for each tag allows you to view the name, serial number, device type, connection state, and software versions. You can also select remove device to remove the tag from the GOS 10 hub. Turn off allows you to turn the tag off from the chart plotter. Protect changes the protection status of a tag. Toggling yes on protected tags triggers actions when leaving the range of the hub. 
Toggling No disarms tags from triggering actions. This will also allow you to configure the reacquisition time for an MOB tag. You can temporarily change the length of time a disarmed tag becomes protected again automatically. Select Reacquire In. The tag can be set to stay disarmed for 15, 30, 45, or 60 minutes. After the disarmed tag becomes protected again, this value resets to the default 15 minutes. The Garmin Overboard system is equipped with a system bypass. It will allow you to restore your engines to full functionality. There are two ways to bypass the system. The first is to bypass the system through the chart plotter. From the chart plotter's home screen, select Settings. Communications. NEMA 2000 Setup and then Device List. Select the GOS 10 Hub. Then select Review. Select Test Engine Cutoff. Select OK. The Garmin Onboard Engine Cutoff System is now disabled. You can also disable the GOS 10 hub by disconnecting the power wire harness. Then connect the bypass module to the power wire harness connector and tighten the locking ring. The Garmin onboard engine cutoff system is now disabled and the engines should be restored. An overlay can also be displayed on the chart plotter to show the status of the MOB tags. Navigate to the page you want to display the MOB tag overlay. For this example, we will be using the fishing chart page. Select Options. Then select Edit Overlays. Select the bar you want to change. We will select top bar. Select the MOB tags. Then navigate back to the fishing chart. The MOB tags overlay will now be displayed on the fishing chart. The MOB tag overlay is helpful when you want a status update on the MOB tags connected to the GOS 10 hub. The green line on the MOB overlay name indicates a tag is protected. Selecting a MOB tag name on the overlay allows you to quickly disarm the protection of the MOB tag. This line will change to yellow, indicating the tag is disarmed. A stopwatch will also be displayed when disarming a tag, indicating when the system will attempt to protect the tag again automatically. Red shading and MOB text on a MOB tag overlay indicates the tag has left the range of the hub and is now in a active MOB status. You also have a disarm all option that will disarm all MOB tags connected to the GOS 10 hub. The full screen icon allows you to navigate directly to the MOB tags page for configuration. The MOB tag has two ways to initiate an MOB alarm. If a MOB tag loses connection range with the GOS 10 hub, it will initiate the man overboard option on the chart plotter. The buzzer will also sound a loud alert. A waypoint is created on the chart plotter where the MOB tag lost connection and will ask if you want to navigate to the waypoint created for the man overboard. Selecting yes or no to navigate to the waypoint will display an SOS script that can be used to make a VHF distress call. The GOS 10 hub can also be factory reset. The security event log stored on the GOS 10 hub will be cleared. All personal information, including locations and timestamps, as well as security event records will be deleted. Restoring the factory defaults of the GOS 10 hub does not affect any of the MOB tags. 
any previously paired MOB tags will retain the custom name and role of the tag. You must reset each MOB tag individually to restore factory defaults. Press the button on the MOB tag five times to start the factory reset process. Repeat this process for any additional tags you want to reset. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please subscribe to the Garmin Support YouTube channel and visit marinesupport.garmin.com.